Who is Elon? You may have probably heard of Elon Musk and his rockets and quest to colonize the planet Mars, but how did he reach this height? How did a clumsy kid born in South Africa change his fortunes and become a global entrepreneur? The life and principles of Elon are a testament that if you constantly apply simple guidelines, you'll go places. When May Musk, a dietitian and model, married Errol Musk, an electromechanical engineer, in 1970, little did she know that her first child would influence how the world thinks on certain issues. In a marriage that lasted for nine years, May gave birth to three children, Elon, Tosca, and Kimball Musk. Elon, the oldest of the trio, was born in 1971 and is a citizen of Canada, the United States, and South Africa. Elon's relationship with his father has been very rocky, and he once described his father as a terrible human being. Elon was very shy and didn't have many friends in school as a kid. Most of his childhood was spent neck deep running through books and computers that helped him create a video game at 12. He was also constantly bullied in school until he came of age and could defend himself in his teenage years. After Elon received his degree in physics and economics from the University of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia in 1997, he registered for a PhD program in physics at Stanford University, California. However, he withdrew after just two days. Shocking, isn't it? Kimball Musk, Elon's younger brother, came to join him in California after he graduated from Queen's University. This was during the early period of the internet and Elon believed there was so much potential for the internet to change society. Inspired by this, Elon launched Zip2 in 1995, a firm that offers maps and business directories to online newspapers. It wasn't long before angel investors bought the idea behind the firm and it grew into a flourishing enterprise. Four years later, the computer manufacturer Compaq bought the company for $307 million. If you think this is a great piece of business, get ready to be wowed. This might be the height of business for many people, but not for Elon. Soon after, he founded X.com, a company that provides online financial services. A few months later, Confinity, a rival company established by Peter Thiel, started operations. Their offices were in the same building as Elon's. In early 2000, both companies agreed to merge and adopted a new name, PayPal. PayPal became a company that specializes in online money transfers. In 2002, the online auction platform eBay acquired PayPal in a deal worth $1.5 billion. At the point of this sale, Elon was the highest shareholder in PayPal with a whopping 11.7% that was worth more than $160 million of eBay stocks. Elon has several missions he wishes to accomplish. Some of these missions are wild and seem impossible, but what could be impossible for the world's richest man to achieve? Three of these missions stand out, and we'll look at them one after the other. Do you think that the Earth will be able to sustain us indefinitely? Well, Elon doesn't think so. Elon believes that humanity cannot survive on just one planet, and his belief determines where he invests. Since leaving PayPal, Elon has founded and co-founded more than three companies, most are centered on solving issues close to his heart, like climate change and one planet dependency. Elon almost went bankrupt building his now multi-million dollar company, Tesla Motors. Elon has companies dedicated to tackling issues of climate risk. Solar City, The Boring Company and Tesla Motors are companies that Elon believes will hasten the switch to electric powered transportation and clean electricity. Elon believes that humanity cannot survive for long if they're restricted to one planet. He argues that humanity may be victims of some life-ending disaster like a supervolcano, nuclear war, or an asteroid. Ever the future thinker, Elon launched SpaceX, also called Space Exploration Technologies in mid-2002, in a bid to explore the chances of us leaving the planet. To ensure this is successful, he studied the required engineering skills needed to design rockets. Consequently, not only is he the CEO of SpaceX, but he's also the chief technology officer. Perhaps all these couldn't have been fruitful if Gwyn Shotwell, who was in charge of business development, wasn't hired. Only the 11th employee to join the company, she took no time to establish herself as Elon's go-to person at the company. 
According to Elon, artificial intelligence poses a massive existential risk to the continuity of human existence. And he's not the only one who has raised this alarm. For years, he has pointed out the dangers of AI and how it is a threat to human civilization. He once called it the scariest problem. Fortunately, Elon is the type of person that identifies a problem and moves to remedy it. In 2015, he co-founded OpenAI, a not-for-profit company that develops friendly AI. The goal of the company is to prevent influential groups from monopolizing AI. To achieve this, they plan on granting free access to highly developed AI research results. This way, the procedure for making AI safe will be circulated. Elon recently tweeted that the planet might be on the edge of a population collapse. He posted a series of charts to prove his point. Elon has a history of solving what he sees as a problem, especially concerning the environment or the planet. And contributing his own quota to rectify what he views as a global problem, Elon has fathered nine children with three women. Interestingly, the kids are from two sets of twins and a set of triplets. For all his attempts at saving the world, Elon has been described by his employees as a hard man to please, especially in the workplace. Ex-employees attest to his hard work and exemplary vision. Still, they also point out his impatience with workers and what they consider unjust dismissal of employees. Elon is said to work at least 80 hours a week, and there is discontent that he requires his engineers to work these long hours too. If you're a regular Twitter user, you have something in common with the richest man on the planet. Elon is a chronic Twitter user, and like most people, he's prone to an error in judgment. He's gotten into a lot of trouble because of his ill-thought-out tweets. However, many Twitter users seem to love him for his funny memes, promotion of cryptocurrencies, and interaction with regular Twitter users. In 2022, after Elon had previously criticized what he viewed as Twitter's hampering of free speech, he acquired a 9% stake in the company and soon after made a buy for the company for $44 billion. However, in July, Elon revealed that he was withdrawing his bid, citing that Twitter has not been entirely honest about the number of bot accounts on its platform. Although Elon courts controversy through his tweets, he's also used the platform to advertise Tesla vehicles and SpaceX's advancements in colonizing Mars. And for all his poor public communication, he's been able to grow SpaceX and Tesla to enviable heights. If not for nothing, he is the world's richest man. So do you agree with Elon on the dangers of AI and unsustainability of planet Earth? Or do you believe that humans could one day live on Mars? Let me know what you think in the comment section.